If I'm dismissive, it's just self-care How to change when you're always there Clearing my space, breathing new air Still I keep the shade you'd always wear Taking my time, taking your time, baby Learning myself I think it just kind of naturally happened, like the whole making a project. Before everything, I was making most of my shit alone, like producing my own stuff. Me and Francis met like March 2020. Remember we had a session and we made two songs that we actually started Thought of You, which is going to be on the project. And that was the first song we did. And it was like from that moment, we knew we were like kind of musical kindred brothers in that way. It got a little awkward But still we have a little moments Feels like we only moving backwards But still we driving, never stopping We were just kind of like throwing shit back and forth I was sending him like keyboard loops Vocal samples for him to chop up and like make ideas on him Without you I actually started because Francis made his drums. And I had this session with Elijah Fox. We had jammed on something in the live room. Like I was on drums, he was on keys, and he showed me that key part. That was a really low key one for a minute, but it was always like a favorite. And then once it was done, I think we both were like, okay, yeah, this is it. Mixing Never Enough, the last song of the project. There was some like beat we had heard earlier. Francis was talking about playing chords on the bass. Like our chords are so fire. 30 minutes, an hour, I got sent a new beat. And I was just like, okay, put some melodies on this and just kind of like went line by line on the first verse. It came out so natural. And that song, you know, is about people that look for other people to give them a greater purpose to their life, whereas like I would prefer to look within myself and give myself that purpose. Sick. We got it. <laughs> Holy shit, man. This whole world is going crazy, baby. I just need one single day. Thought of You was the first song that me and Francis ever made or worked on. He was showing me a bunch of his beats, and that one in particular, I riffed on that Thought of You that hook idea, and just like on loop, on loop, and then Jasmine and Eddie were there, and they're like, because of that song, they were like, oh, you gotta work with Joyce. And funny enough, a year later, Joyce ends up being the person to sing the second verse on that song. No, sometimes that I don't seem grateful. Don't know but think you're you my angel. That one's nice. good. Let's keep going. Thought of you is like a love song, but like a unconditional type love song where it's like, you know, even though we might not be together, like we've shared these memories and these experiences and like a thought of you just puts a smile on my face. I love it when you're talking like that. Then you send it right. Open up. I thought it was something that was missing for a long time. Damn. <laughs> the background vocals and everything came in. That's what took it to another level. Mm -hmm. Oh, can you stay? Stay a little longer. Stay till I'm known. trying other ways to enter the first verse, but I think we stuck with the first one. Tried different emotions and everything, but yeah, we kept it original. But the background vocals were the ticket for me. Time is always moving forward. So why are we going back way too fast? Run away from all your past. Currently, we don't have a title for the song with Destiny, so we'll call it Untitled. That one had sampled some of my vocals from a trip that we had here, the first trip we had here, and I was just like laying all different melodies and like 
things were hitting, but things weren't really hitting, and then we were with Destin in this little ass room. We played that beat, and immediately, like, he went up on the mic, and first things he freestyled were the first verse melody and the second verse melody. And we're like, what? this guy always comes in so crazy. And that song's just kind of about, like, yo, I'm on my shit, coming back to town. What else we got? Never Enough. Is there anything you want to say about it? My favorite. Sick. <laughs> we were gonna just make it an ambient song at first. We used like a VST guitar plugin. I had like melody ideas from a video that we had when I was doing it. And then we were like, no, we gotta sing on this. And I had Mauricio play Nylon. Whoa. All right. We just kind of kept going with it and I wrote this song over just the guitar. The song's about, you know, I do all this, you know, I'm trying to keep you satisfied, keep you happy, but everything that I do just never seems like it's ever enough. A lot of people can feel that way, especially when two people aren't the same and their needs are different and one person might see it different than the other, even though you're like putting all this effort and work and I think that song kind of resembles that in a relationship. That's honestly my favorite part of the whole record, is when there's no words. We were both going through similar things creatively, whether it was like we wanted to move forward with our career but felt stuck in a version of ourselves. I think we both brought that out of each other to like become and step into the people we want to become the artists we want to become producer i think we're both allowing each other to do that in our own ways never stepping on toes and with this new music it's a good step forward in what we both want to do and what we want to say so i enjoy it and i think a lot of people will enjoy it <laughs>